Hello everyone, Buddy here at House of Props and today I'm going to show you how I assembled and painted this Boba Fett pistol blaster. The pieces were printed on an Ender 3 Pro. The print settings as well as the link to the print files can be found below. While we wait for the pieces to print, go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification buttons so you can see all future builds. Or you can scan this code to see all previous builds including this Boba Fett carbine rifle. Once the pieces were finished printing, I needed to smooth each piece to remove the print lines. To do this, I always start with a 120 grit sandpaper and then switch to a 180 grit. You can see when you're sanding which areas have been smoothed and which still need more attention. Just keep sanding until the surface is smooth and looks the same. When starting to assemble, I made sure that I slid the trigger into its slot before attaching the receiver. I used CA glue to attach the pieces because I have found it to provide an excellent secure bond. To speed up the build process, I used Zip Kicker to cure the glue in just a couple of seconds. The trigger is meant to be movable, but I want to secure mine in order to keep it from clicking when in motion. Next, I attach the lower barrel into its opening. Check the fit before adding any glue. If it's too tight, a little sanding will help it fit properly. Then the upper barrel is slid into its hole. I did not glue this into place until I have aligned the barrel bridge. This bridge has this little circle. You want to have it aimed towards the grip. Slide the bridge onto the barrels so that there is about a half inch of each barrel tip sticking through. You can then secure the bridge and the upper barrel. The grip ring was inserted into the ring nut, and this is then glued onto the bottom of the grip so the ring is aligned with the grip. The rear screw can be screwed into place with a screwdriver. There's no need to glue it unless you want to. The scope has this small divot on its underside. This is aligned with this bump on the receiver. Finally, the small side button can be attached. I always use multiple coats of a 2-in-1 filler and sandable primer. By sanding in between each layer, you can achieve a very smooth finish. When the primer layers are dry, I apply multiple coats of a high gloss black spray paint. This high gloss helps when buffing graphite powder onto the blaster. This combo technique will help the blaster have a metal looking finish. To seal the graphite, I use a clear varnish. This will keep the graphite from smearing or smudging. Now it's time to paint the grip. I start with a base layer of nutmeg brown. It may take several coats in order to get a smooth finish. I also use the nutmeg brown to add some dirt and grime into the blaster's nooks and crannies. I also use burnt umber to build up dirt in the crevices. To create the wood grain, I dry brush burnt umber the length of the handle's wooden panels. To further the wood grain effect, I dry brush khaki tan while trying not to cover the burnt umber I had just put down.
To add to the blaster's weathering, I dry brush a light gray onto various edges. As the last step, I take the nutmeg brown, add a little red, and really water it down so it creates a color wash. This wash is then applied over the wooden grip pieces and is dabbed with a paper towel to soften and blend. So you guys can see the steps I took to assemble Boba's pistol blaster, which we've seen in both The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, if you are building any of my builds or using any of my templates, feel free and tag me at House of Props on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok because I would really like to see your fantastic work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.